This is conclusion part of our class under linear momentum, and we are going to complete it with uh, the use of y pass question that I told you in our last video. And the first question we are going to treat here is a uh, y question on the uh, 2008 number 13 objective question. The question says an object of mass two kilogram with velocity of three meter per second collide head on with another object of mass one kilogram moving in opposite direction with velocity of four meter per second. If the objects stick together after collision, calculate their common velocity. Now from the question, it means the two bodies are moving in opposite direction. So we have it like this. Let's say this one is going like this. Then the second one is coming like this. Then after collision, the two bodies join together. Then the mass of this one, mass of the first one, that is 2 kilogram. Then initial velocity of it is 3 meter per second. Then this one, the mass is 1 kilogram. Then the velocity u is equal to 4 meter per second. Then after collision, they are moving with the same velocity. That is their coalescence. Then they are going to have uh, the same velocity, which is unknown. Their masses will still remain the same. 2 kilogram and 1 kilogram. So you just form equation for them. Automatically, if you find the momentum of this one, we give you 6. Momentum of this one, we give us what? 4. So it means their direction after collision will be in the direction of this one. Then, let's form the formula. We have M1, U1, plus then. It's like this. It will be negative. So this one will become minus. Then minus M2, U2 is equal to then, this is positive direction. Then, this one also is positive direction. Then, V, open bracket, M1 plus M2. Let's substitute and get the value, uh, the value of what? Of the uh, common velocity. They, they stick together. So, in that case, we are going to have uh, 2 times 3 minus 1 times 4 is equal to V, open bracket, then 2 plus 1. So we are going to have 6 minus 4 is equal to 3v. Then we are looking for v. Therefore, v is equal to subtract this one, we give us 2 over 3, which is equal to 0 0.666. You approximate it, we give us 0 0.67 meter per second. So that is how to get. Once you can interpret the question, you get the formula. Let's use the second uh, question. Uh, that is 2003 number 11 C. 2003 number 11 C. Then the question says, a tractor of mass 5 tons, 10 is per 3 kilogram is used to tow a car of mass 2.5 tons, 10 is per 3 kilogram. The tractor moves with a speed of 3 meters per second just before the rule becomes taut. Calculate. The speed of the tractor immediately the road becomes taut. Then the loss in kinetic energy of the system just after the car has started moving. Then impulse in the road when it jacked the car into motion. Now, let's say we have the first car. The car is this. Then this is the tractor. Then we have the road. Then when the road becomes taut, the two of them, we move the same velocity. We move the same velocity, V, which is unknown. Then the mass of this, of the tractor, is 5 times 10 raised to the power 3, while the car is 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. Initial velocity of the tractor is 3, 3 meters per second. Both of the car, the car is not moving. So, initial velocity of the car, u, this is u2, then u1 is equal to zero. That's all. So, we just form the equation for them, that is m1, u1 plus m2, u2. So, after the rope becomes taut, two of them will go like this. Simple. Then this one is static. We don't, if we have one less constant, it will not have any direction. Since this one becomes zero, so we are going to have is equal to common velocity v open bracket 
M1 plus M2. Then what will now happen? Our this one becomes zero. Then plus five times ten raised to three multiplied by what three is equal to V open bracket mass of the car two point five times ten raised to power three plus five times ten raised to power three. So at the end of the day, we are going to have fifteen times ten raised to power three is equal to V multiplied by Add this one together, which will give us 7.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. Then find V, make it the subject of formula. V is equal to 15 times 10 raised to the power 3 over 7.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. So the answer is 2. So therefore, the common velocity is 2 meter per second. So two of them will move together at what? Velocity of 2 meters per second. That's all. Then, the next question says, loss in kinetic energy of the system. Therefore, we need to calculate kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after collision. And it's very simple. So, since this one, we're supposed to use half MV, I mean M1 U1 square plus half U, uh, M2, U2 squared is equal to, I mean, calculate this one separate, then the final kinetic energy, it will add what? Half V squared, open bracket, M1 plus M2. Then what is this? Initial velocity of this one is zero. So everything here becomes zero. Plus half M, that is, 5 times 10 raised to the power 3. Then velocity, this is 3 times 9. I mean, 3 squared is equal to, we have got this V, which is 2. 2 squared over 2, open bracket. When you have the two masses together, it will give you 7.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. So, we are going to have. 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 3 times 9 for this one. Then this one too will give us 2 open bracket because this one squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. Then 2 times 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. So, by the time you find this one, subtract this one, I mean, multiply 2.5 and uh, 7, it means, I mean, 2.5 times 9 will give us uh, 22.5 times 10 raised to the power 3. And that is initial kinetic energy. Then the final kinetic energy, multiply this one, will give you 15 times 10 raised to the power 3. So, Joe, this one to Joe. So you now subtract this one from this. So by the time you subtract 15 times 10 is for 3 2 from 22.5 times 10 is for, so it will give you 7.5 times 10 is for 3 2. And that is what loss in kinetic energy. That is the initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy. Then the last question says impulse in rho when it jack the world car into motion. Then impulse in, in the road. Don't forget, impulse is same thing as what? Change in momentum. You do the same thing. Impulse Ft is equal to change in momentum. That is mv minus mu. Then what is our mv? Let's calculate mv separate. Calculate mu separate, then we subtract. Then our MV, don't forget you have got V to be 2. So it will add what? MV will give us mass, the product of, I mean, the sum of the two masses. That is uh, 5 times 10 raised to the power 3 plus 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 3 in bracket. Then multiply by what? Velocity. V, which is equal to 2. So this one will give us 7.5 times 
times 10 raised to the power 3 times 2, which is equal to 15 times 10 raised to the power 3. And this is momentum after collision. Then, what of momentum before collision? Don't forget this one is still what? Zero. So, momentum before collision, we calculate it. That is MU. And mass is 5 times 10 raised to the power 3. Then, velocity is what? Velocity is 3. That is times what? 3. So, which will give us 15 times 10 raised to the power 3. New, I mean, kilogram meter per second. This one too, kilogram meter per second. Uh, kilogram meter per second. So, in that case, you see that initial, I mean, final momentum and initial momentum, they are equal. So, at the end of the day, impulse. Ft will give us uh, 15 times 10 raised to the power 3 minus 15 times 10 raised to the power 3, which is equal to 0 Newton seconds. So that is what our impulse. So that's that about that. Very simple. Once you can use the diagram to represent your equation, to derive the equation, it's very simple. So that will be the end of our uh, topic under linear momentum.